You won't believe how spiders fly. No wind needed. This is wild. Let me blow your mind. It's not just silk, and it's not just wind. The ground carries a negative charge. The air above is positively charged. That makes an invisible electric field all around us. Tiny spiders can detect it. When they release silk threads, the threads pick up a negative charge, like charges repel, so the silk is pushed away from the ground. And that lift carries the spider up, no breeze required, often as a silk fan. In labs, researchers tested this in windless chambers. Flip the electric field on, they rise. Flip it off, they drift down. A 2018 study, Morley et al., showed electrostatic ballooning in controlled tests. This confirmed electricity can do the heavy lifting. Spiders have sensitive leg hairs called trichobothria. They tiptoe and time their launch perfectly. They often release many strands. A silk fan gives more lift. Many money spiders, Linifidae, and other species balloon. Some spiderlings travel for kilometers, even across oceans. They ride nature's wireless highways. Charles Darwin even watched spiders land on the HMS Beagle at sea. Now we know how they did it. Ballooning helps spiders colonize islands and new habitats. Tiny spiders can reach high altitudes on silk, even catching upper winds. So between charged silk, sensors, and timing, nature built a wireless flight system. Fun fact, even some adult spiders balloon on warm sunny days. Electric field plus charged silk plus timing equals sign flight. Like and follow for more.